match right now of both of these guys are right now at two losses. So depending on their MOV, whoever wins this might sneak their way into the top eight cut. Um, so we're just waiting on the lists and we can watch them set up the rocks. Uh, so my co-host from the last round, Don, is now judging because they needed another judge. So I have Evan here with me. Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, Evan, you want to introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, I'm Evan, uh, better known for being T70 Bro, uh, also on my podcast, Radical Squadron. Uh, you can tune into us through PTL links. But yeah, I'm really excited to be here. So this matchup, I uh, hear we have a U-Wing versus a Sunerfell. So this is something that I don't think anyone was <laughs> expecting to see today. Um, so De Definitely not for a top table. Actually, the gentleman with the U-Wing is the one who knocked me out for the day today on day two. So uh, uh, positive thoughts for him because, you know, anytime you get beat by a U-Wing is always a, a pretty good day. Yeah, okay. So Paul is one of our local Toronto players. And then Jean is here from Montreal, JJ squad, actually. Uh, yeah. And uh, so, you know, I was asking you, um, is there like a grudge match between uh, the two towns? Like, so right in America, even the different cities have grudge matches against different cities. So apparently everyone's pretty, pretty positive up here. So this is a... Uh, yeah, we're Canadians. We, yeah. we all love each other. No, I don't I don't think there's any animosity between any of the, the squadrons around here. We're all just happy to see each other at these big events. That's fair. Very fair. All right, so we've got the list now in front of us, so we can tell you a bit about them. You want to go ahead and tell us about Paul's? Sure. We got uh, Quick Draw TIE SF with Score Scuttle, uh, Special Ops, and Fire Control System. Pretty standard. A little light, maybe. Uh, we got Soon Tier Fell with Push the Limit, Royal Guard, Targeting Computer, and Auto Thrusters. An Omicron pilot uh, being a PALP shuttle uh, with Collision Detector and Engine Upgrade. Very, right. very different. And then on Jean's side, we have Lorik with Draw Their Fire, Tactician, and Ray uh, with Ezra, Ezra Stress Bug, essentially, with the Inspiring Recruit and Elusiveness, uh, Captain Rex. And then Heftober in the uh, the U wing with sensor jammer Jin as Urso, sorry, uh, Zeb and the pivot wing. Uh, that's the title, right? Yep. So this this is just one of those lists where it's like target priority is kind of all over the place, but you know you've got to get rid of Rex because he's going to ruin your attacks with his uh, condition token. Yeah, he makes life a little rough. Also, <laughs> thank you for the birthday wishes, guys. I really appreciate that. Oh, it's your birthday? Uh, yeah, I was trying to guilt my last opponent. I'm like, it's my birthday. <laughs> you should birthday. totally let me win this for my birthday. Well, he you didn't get to buy celebrate it. Celebrate in Toronto. Yeah, that's so fair. That's lucky he didn't buy it, and uh, almost tabled me, so that's fine. But uh, yeah, I brought uh, two Kimagillas and a party bus, and uh, the gentleman with the uh, the U wing. Uh, I shot I don't know five or six harpoons at that guy, and he maybe took the damage mitigation and shuffling around was. Surprising to me, wasn't expecting it. Right. So, uh, so you've got some good insight into his strategy here. <laughs> yeah. What do you think he's gonna do up against these uh, palp aces, essentially? You know, it's uh, Hef is made to be bumped into, uh, especially going at three. So if he can bump the Inquisitor or Quick Draw, it's it's really bad. Like especially with the stress Ezra, and he flies it very. Uh, very yeah. differently than I'm used to, so I wasn't expecting the little tricks he was doing. And they were good. They weren't tricks, they were just good maneuvers. All right. Uh, for anyone who's joining us, we are being streamed by VTTV, as you know. Uh, they're also currently streaming uh, Armada, if you're interested in that as well. I don't know, do a split screen or something, watch both. Uh, but yeah, here we go for X-Wing. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so VTTV does a super excellent job with these layouts. Uh, the cards come up, like being able to see the shields and health live with the lists up. So uh, they have a Patreon. You know, check that out. Uh, they the quality of stream they do is just super excellent. Uh, they work hard. They yeah. are at all the events in Toronto. Jeez, like, you can. Uh, every game. That's amazing. So definitely check out their Patreon or check out their Twitch account. Uh, because the amount of work they put in, uh, you know, it's kind of almost labor of love at this point, so helping them out is really important. So we see the shuttle coming forward quite a bit. Are you surprised that he's not 
hiding out in that corner for a uh, while? Yeah, a little bit. I'm not used to an aggressive Palpatine uh, with engine yeah. upgrade, but you know. Oh, that's true. He's got engine on there, doesn't he? That's so, uh, to see, you know, that main gun is four dice at range one, uh, and it's Palp, so. You, you need all the guns you can get in this list, because this is going to be a hard-to-chew-through Rebel list. The damage is, it's like a weird fair ship Rebel, yeah. so the damage mitigation is just all over the place. So we got, we see the got rebels some... just going forward in their block. <laughs> That's sweet formation. I'm actually interested to see what uh, Suntir does. But no, the weather's been nice up here. It's been uh, a really fun campaign. Uh, well, tournament throughout the days here. How many people did you come up here with? Just you uh, Just the uh, three of us. Just the three of you. You're from Buffalo, right? Uh, or... Syracuse. Syracuse. Everywhere in New York's the same. That's, that's fair. We're all kind of... <laughs> So cool. An old school in base list. That's interesting. It's so surprising to see Sutrafell. As soon as we saw that he was here, we're like, we got to get this on the stream. That, people don't want to see Ghost Fen, but they want to see something <laughs> interesting. You know, uh, I built my list to fight two ship lists because uh, that's kind of the meta where I'm from. And everyone, you hear all the other podcasts talk about, uh, oh, we're Ghost Fen. Nuts up here. Yeah, Rackalo. So I built this like really crazy Boba Fett. Uh, Boba Fett, Greedo, take your stuff off list, and then I, I ran to none. I ran to like the four I won to get to day two, or the four two yeah. ship lists I ran to. I brought Ghost Fan. I played day one A. I came against so many of the Az attacks. I'm like, what am I supposed to do here? <laughs> I hit it twice in the first day. It was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I deserved it. No, that's fair. I mean, the meta <laughs> up here is pretty nuts. Like every time I ran to something, I have to like really look over every card. I can't assume anything yeah like, absolutely uh, you're like oh that upgrades on there where did you get that idea so uh the the, the ewing i didn't realize had <laughs> zeb on it so i uh i meant i did the i tried to block with my uh party bus and then he ran to it i'm like yeah great perfect and then uh yeah he's like i, yeah, <laughs> he's like, I get to shoot I'm like wait excuse me <laughs> zeb yeah nobody runs zeb no anymore. that was yeah, I think I think that's part of the strategy with these lists with so many things. It's just you don't yeah, remember everything that's on there. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, that's Zeb. Uh, he is a card I'm not used to seeing, but for uh, for that one point, man, he he works pretty well. Everything that came in that ghost upgrade box yeah, it's is just amazing. Sweet. It's such a worthwhile box. Yeah, no, even if you seriously. don't want to run the ghost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially when you want to run rebels. Yeah, that shuttle. He's going in. Gonna oh, do we get a... Oh, he's clear. Room for days. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Room for days. He knows what he's doing. Here comes Rex. Keep in formation. Not surprising. Yeah, that... That Sunarfell does not want to deal with that block of rebel. Yeah, he just can't bump. He's got to be real careful. Because if bumps, then... Soon tier fell with no tokens is a sad soon tier fell, even with Palpatine. I mean, uh, even if Ezra can get in there and throw some stress on him. Oh, jeez, yeah. yeah. That's a bad day in LA. <laughs> so I was interested to see like a, um, a fair ship rebel list kind of come back, but uh, in a very different build. Well, for they the most part. They have so many tricks. You can just kind of pick your favorites and throw them all together, and it's like, boom, there's a rebel list. Yeah, and it's just cool seeing a... Uh, Seeing a uh, Ewing actually like be played aggressively and well. So Joey Abs asks how many will get into the cut. So it's a cut to top eight. This is our second round of Swiss today for a total of eight rounds of Swiss. So these guys, wh whoever wins this one, might make the cut depending on their MOV. It's gonna be tight. Oh my! My list of blood so much MOV that even if I won, I was just not. You need to see it. Yeah, I need to win. win all win, your games. Win like perfectly, but. Uh, that's what I always tell people who complain about their MOV. I'm like, well, you should have just won more. <laughs> it stinks to stink, right? Like, <laughs> Which ship was assigned a debt to pay? There's no debt to pay? I don't see the token on the table. Oh, a score settle. A quick draw? Oh, yeah, yeah. that's an interesting question. Yeah, I don't see the token. Um, sure, yes, please. We will... Uh, We're sending uh, someone over. Yep. 
Although I've played a lot of games where the person has forgotten to use a score to settle because it's right at the it, start. Dude, it of, feels good. <laughs> it's right when you place all your forces, right? It's before yeah. you even start. I do the, uh, you know, when people are using it, I I'll remind them. Uh, like one or two times about the condition and if they forget after that I'm like okay well I'm usually like if it's the first turn we've just moved they're always like oh shoot I forgot oh yeah there it is oh, it's on it's on Ezra it's okay. on Ezra interesting choice because that lets Ezra stress mod shots still when taking shots at quick draw maybe that's what he wants well he knows that Ezra's uh, ability lets him use those focuses as a is it just uh, defensive or is it on attack? As just well? defensive. Okay. Uh, but if he's stressed and he shoots at quick draw, maybe he's trying to draw the fire of Ezra to quick draw and away from Suji. That's a good idea. Yep, that's uh, true. Yeah, because anything they can do to stop that stress from hitting Suntier is a good idea. Uh, Debt to Pay is one of those condition cards that's uh, just super, super useful. It's a zero point upgrade, right? So yeah, you no, might as well it's... take it if you've got the, the slot. Ezra and Crew Card Boba Fett's my, uh, my go-to lately. I love it. All right. Let's see. Dials it down. I mean... That gentleman does have a nice watch. I'll give him that. <laughs> it seems like the Rebels, they just want to go shoot right in for this. Like, I don't think they're yeah. doing anything fancy here. So it'll be interesting to see what the Imps do. I love seeing the shuttle in there as like one of the, the guns. Like he's not he's not a support ship. He's there to shoot. Yeah, it's you know, he's got all that health, so he could take a couple rounds of fire, no problem. And, and anything to draw the fire away from the two aces is gonna be a good idea because I mean generally when you see a palp shuttle, you wanna get that off the board. So you know as the palp shuttle player that people are gonna go for it right away anyway. I love the upgrade cards using too, uh, having Jin Erso. I just love thematic Jin Erso on the uh, U-Wing. <laughs> it's just cool and it works. Like when someone bumps into you and you're like, oh, I guess I'll Jin. It's like, wait, what? Yeah, Paul's really getting in there with that. I'm actually really surprised with that, uh, that shuttle, man. No fear. One of eight dying a dream, man. When they uh, gave us this matchup, they're like, here's one for you so you can go to time again. But if they're going to both be aggressive like this, yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. not. That's true. Uh, that Pelp Shuttle's got an engine upgrade, though. Don't forget. So his turns are a little bit better than the regular Pelp Shuttle. That's fair. Most Pelp Shuttles I've ever played against usually a little uh, sedated, but... Oh, but I mean, no, that makes right. it a lot more points, so yeah, yeah, it's a yeah, point no. sink once it dies. You might as well get the guns in there, especially with that damage mitigation. You just need to start, start pumping it out. <laughs> Quick draw, taking it slow. It's one of the few TIE Fighters that can do that one forward, man. That's a rebel trick. <laughs> slow one forward. Okay, so this quick draw doesn't have too much going on. We've seen a lot that were like loaded to the T's, you know, harpoons yeah. or expertise. So this one is it's a light quick draw, so he's got to be careful with his actions here. Very much so. Uh, I don't, like, no lightweight frame is just... Oh, that's true. I guess that's, you know, save points for soon tier. You know, like... Uh, yeah, that could hurt quick draw, because that extra die from lightweight frames is almost always triggered. Yeah. I've got to uh, I got to get my mind out of what I'm used to playing with these ships and try to get into the mind of what he's playing. So, like, you know, I would never fly that quick draw, uh, but that doesn't mean it's bad. It just means, like, thinking outside the box there is pretty good. I'm surprised we're not seeing Sunter do more of a flank here. He's staying right with the shuttle. Although it looks like the Rebels are turning in at quick draw, so that could work yeah. out. Yeah. Once you, once you remove quick draw shields, it's kind of a, just a high PS... Uh, uh, tie SF at that point. Quick draw is actually the lowest amount of points on the Imperial side of the table, yeah. too. So it's interesting That's that true. that would be the first target. That's true. I guess just you get the revenge shots out of the way. If you can, right. if you can all get those all shields, those shields in the first round, that you're feels, like one that and feels done. good, man. Yeah, it's a. All right, let's see. First shot. Quick draw on the U Wing. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say. 
<laughs> Welcome to Canadian National. Yeah, jeez. That was my whole time here. What do we got? Oh, no. We know you Americans come and try to steal all our prizes. We so tried. We I tried you. pretty hard. Okay, we got like a hit crit. Two hits. Oh. Since he's Sensor. got some. Sensor jammer. Yep. Not only good on the ghost. Wow. Wow. So that's a jammer right up there on the screen. Uh, a card that like sat in binders for a while. Now it's coming back pretty heavy. So what is this shot? This is the shuttle? No. Oh, sooner fell. Okay. Okay, so lost two shields. Two shields off of the U-wing. <laughs> Empire's <laughs> finest. This is giant shuttle. Accurate. Okay, what do we got? Shuttle firing in. Oh, no, he's taking a shot no, from back there. No, this is going to yep. be low rick. Checking for range on the shuttle. Uh, he's turning the dice for uh, sensor jammer. Yep. Oh, sorry, we should be saying who we're addressing in the chat. So. Sorry, yep, my fault, my fault. Yeah, I've been doing the same thing. Well, okay. Who's next up here? We've got Ezra going into shuttle Valve Shuttle, again. looks like. <laughs> unobstructed, looks like. Oh, yeah, that's what we're checking for. Looks unobstructed to me. If it's that close, they might want to take out a ruler because those lasers are not super accurate. Yeah, here comes the ruler. Everything's shifting. That's one thing about uh, playing games on Vassal versus playing games in, uh, on, in, in IRL, if you will, that uh, you don't get all the, uh, the so nuances like people holding R3 stuff. A2'd. Things shift. Okay. For one, one. Hit. Oh, one shuttle evade. evades. Shuttle doing barrel rolls. Getting out of the way that, that shuttle. That shuttle is stressed now. Not a lot of moves he has to clear that. So this is Rex on the shuttle. <laughs> oh, shuttle wow, jeez. That's a good shuttle, Dude, man. Dude, they're paying that guy very well. So Who's ever flying that shuttle? So he's that condition. So his weapons are now reduced unless he shoots a Captain Rex. Debt to pay is very excellent. Express fire. Us dead to pay. Jeez. What am I saying? Sorry. It's all right. Our producer here knows more than Good. You. I'm glad. I'm uh, I'm loaded. Caffeine's fading out. What do we got? Oh, okay. Help. Okay. All right. So everyone's shot now, right? We're back to planning, or? Oh, no, I think we're waiting on the, sh the shuttle. Yeah. Oh, he still might go for the U-Wing, even though he's got that. Yeah, he's got to get, like, so all those other rebel ships are really strong, but if that Hef, that U-Wing gets in the way. And that U-Wing will get in the way. He yeah. always gets in the way. <laughs> That's all they're good for. <laughs> Well, I can't say that now. We've got to see what happens. Oh, one big hit. Oh, oh sensor my jam. Gosh. Uh, he does have the focus. He'll spend. Safe. None of these guys can hit man. these big ships. This is insane. Do you see this matchup, Aaron? It's nuts. So I love this list by John Collier and Paul. Not a Ewing man. Amazing pilot. Is it going one way hard? Not yet. Uh, it's still pretty. Uh, shots were fired. That Hef was some our first round it. of combat. Mm -hmm. What's on half? Uh, sensor jammer. Yes. That sensor jammer yeah. has done work. Thirty-one yeah. points. Jin or so. Zeb. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, Zeb. And pivot wing. Right. Dude, it's really good. He beat me. Knocked me out. Rex. Low Rex would draw their fire tactician and Ray. Well. I think that's a terrible bill. <laughs> that's exactly my bill. <laughs> Let me know if you, you need some company next round. Yep. 
I think I might have replaced you. It's totally cool. I'm happy. <laughs> Anyone who knows more about X-Wing than I do is a good co-host for me. Well, if you need help later, I will come on and be your side man. Fair. Strong. So, do you think we're just going to see just a continued straight joust here? Like... Uh, the Imperials don't look like they're doing anything tricky at this point. No, uh, he's just got to be real careful with uh, Soontir that he doesn't get yeah, like, double stressed. Got a, he's got to bail out of there because if he starts getting double stressed, he's going to get wrecked. So Lorik has Tactician. So for any reason, if he gets a range two shot on Soontir and a shot from Ezra, that's real bad news. Yeah, for sure. If that shuttle goes straight, is he going to clip that rock? Yeah, I'd have to do with the golf stair where you get down and you really like. Oh, yeah, yeah, you crash really down to table up. level. But I think that's going to be a hit if he goes straight. He's going to either have to bank, but maybe he will. I don't know what he's doing. He's being a real crazy man with that shuttle. Granted, the shuttle pilot just dodged, like, uh, the amount of evades he was throwing was <laughs> also, what do I know? But yeah, the, uh, the elusiveness on Ezra is really interesting. So you take a stress to make someone re-roll their dice, and that activates Ezra's, uh, hey, I get to turn my focuses into evades right. on defense. Yep. So uh, he did to me a couple times. I rolled in the blanks, and then he got his, when I got my two other two hits through, he just, Ezra's his way out. I'm like, wow, geez. We saw an Ezra with elusiveness yesterday, and the player kept forgetting to use it. And we're like, no, don't yeah. forget your elusiveness. <laughs> Is it probably a good thing they're on the other side of the room and they can't hear us yelling these things yeah, at them? Yeah, outside intel. <laughs> so it looks like we're just waiting on one more Imperial dial here. Sunter fell. Yeah, I think, I think Sunter should not have ended up where he is even this round. I think he should have taken the long way around the back. I mean, it's tough, you know, because I've, I, uh, I am not a Sunter man. Uh, right now, nobody is. Yeah. But <laughs> every time I uh, every time I fly him, uh, he ends up. Uh, oh, oh snap. the shuttle's just going for a big block in okay. here. Oh no! Oh no! Maximum yeah. chaos in it's here. It's all falling apart. <laughs> huh. I mean, yeah, I mean, if he gets that block, that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, if none of those rebels get any actions, that can leave Quick Draw and Soontir to do a bit of damage. Yeah, that's very true. Like, especially on Lorik, if he doesn't get that, um, oh, that's a damage oh. to the shuttle. That was a strong block with the shuttle. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. oh, he's knocking everything. Oh no. Block did not work out there. Do we think that Quick Draw did a move to clear where that U Wing is, or do you think he's going to bump the U Wing and get hit by all of these other rebels? It's. Uh, I think Ezra might be, might be blocked, or just. Uh, it de yeah, I guess it depends what he dialed in there. If he dialed in a hard turn, he might get enough angle on there. Oh, but he no. he did a bank. Okay. So, yeah, I think the shuttle definitely helped out there. What quick draw dial in? Let's see. Oh. Oh, driving into that U-wing. Oh, man. So, Hef gets a... Hef Tobler, yep, gets a free action because someone bumped into him. These guys are so good on the stream. Look at them showing us everything. That's yeah. Doing. Hey man, appreciate it. Half Tober, for anyone knows, is the uh, that little furry guy who was in the movie. <laughs> huh. So Soonter might be taking a shot from Ezra if he doesn't barrel roll out. Yeah, of I think barrel boost. Actually, I think he's in low Rick's arc right now as well. So he wants to get out of there. That bump almost helped uh, Ezra get a shot on. Soon to right now. Yeah, you're right. Because they were definitely all going after Quick Draw at this point. Good 
Good morning to you too, uh, oh, so summation all SAC. All he's doing is taking a focus there with Soon Tier. Huh, that's really interesting. I guess he's expecting to take the... He yeah, he wants to take that shot from Ezra and then he'll get one stress. Yeah, yeah. Huh. I think he could have barrel rolled out of there though. Maybe barrel roll boosted out? Oh, looks like a good roll. Two hits? Hit crit, looks like. This is on Ezra, right? Yes, Ezra will change that. Um, he could Loric if he wanted to. No, nope, he's going to take the shield. Okay. Quick draw. Oh, yeah, he gets to shoot the Ewing. Zeb works both ways. Hello, Rocha from Portugal. We've got people watching from all over. We got a hit focus, hit, hit crit. So that's going to be two damage on the U-Wing. Okay, good. Wow. At least he did something this time. Yeah, that's... It's going to be an interesting turn for the Rebels here. Oh, Hef? Yep. Oh, he remembered Zeb. Ah, that's why he was willing to bump. Ah, that's really smart. Checking range here. So this is low Rick's shot. Good roll. Three hits, yep. Wow, hey crit, pretty strong. Yikes. So palp one. Yep. Okay, palped. And then so more into, yeah, more into one shield, the U-Wing. Now he gets to attack again with quick draw. Back on the U-Wing. Oh my god. Uh, country ad. The four Imperial dice are quick draw onto the U-Wing because remember Zeb is there so they can both shoot each other. Okay, so Zeb takes a hull damage. Huh. So Ezra onto Suntir, it looks like. Take a stress yeah, to give a stress. One. Oh. See what happens. Yep. Oh, he's got two focus. He's all right. Right. I guess that's why he didn't do the extra barrel roll, because he knew he'd have at least a f one focus for... Okay. Oh, wow. Jeez. Well... With dice like at, that, uh, he needs a focus. Yeah. Got a hit. This is Captain Rex, I'm assuming. Nothing. Under quick draw. Yep. Quick draw lost on shield. shield. And then Zeb going to quick draw. Oh, jeez. Oh, four hits. Zeb said, not today, sir. Well, take three. Yeah. Three on quick draw. No crits though, right? No, just regular hits. Wow. Hmm. Just press a fire on. That's good. I think I think that was a good round for the rebels. Yeah, that was. Uh, I mean, that shuttle's still full health, but he's kind of still in that traffic jam. He's gonna have a hard time getting off that. Yeah, rock. that's you know he made that the judgment call with the shuttle to get it in there to try to block. Uh, maybe he blocked the whole formation if that. Risk had pulled off. That would have been real bad news. Uh, but unfortunately, he kind of called it. Hmm, yeah, well, what do you do with the shuttle here? Like, because you can't do, well, I guess you could do a hard turn and just go for the bump, but I think you still end up on that rock. If you go straight, you might end up on that other rock. I can't quite see where the end of it is because yeah. of low rick. And if you bank out, you're not going to have any shots for a long time. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. Like, the, I mean, if the I was engine playing it, I might peel out. The engine yeah. will get you around pretty quick. It's still going to take a while, and those Rebels are going to do some work on the rest of your squad. But then you still got the Palp backup, which is totally safe, which is super helpful for Soontir. Yeah. 
Yeah, Quick Draw had a real bad round that game. So right now, Quick Draw is just uh, like a high PS, uh, high PS skill, like tie SF. So the U wing, I think we see it just pull a hard stop maneuver here. What do you think? That'd be good. Um, so I always forget the U wing goes zero. Right. It's a shuttle, right? So. And maybe Paul forgets that and he drives his quick draw into it again, or a quick draws, like, drive into um, Captain Rex there. Like, he's kind of blocked in unless he does a hard turn, but then he's not facing anything. Yeah, that's fair. These games like this with so much bumping, it takes so much thinking to figure out where yeah, you're Yeah, where you're next. actually going to get out of here. Like so, where uh, you want your intentional bumps and where you yeah. want to clear. Speaking of quick draw, uh, make sure you get a chance to check out Fantasy Flight's website and you can see the new quick draw alt art that's going to be in the kits. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. It's nice that they picked one that people are using all of yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. Quick draw is one of those rags to riches pilots, right? Like, as soon as he came out, nobody really we thought about it. We all knew it. it was good, but wasn't, Not, yeah. you know, this good. We've seen a lot of quick draw here this weekend. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a great ship. I like the picture that uh, holding the controls, but look like pistols. So it's like ready uh, to like, yeah. sh or she is ready to swing out on that. That looks cool. Yeah, the new kit with uh, metal shields. That's really awesome, I think. Uh, I kind of miss the metal coins, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. It's too bad that there's only five of the shields in each kit, though. It's going to be yeah. a rough oh, geez. season yeah, of no. game night kits. Everyone's I want them, coming right? Everyone's coming to their yeah. top list. Normally when I go to a game night kit, I don't really... My, it's I go with something whatever. Anymore. Yeah, no, I go with something fun, whatever. But now it's like, no, I want to win. I want those metal tokens. So we are still planning here. It looks like we're just waiting on quick draw and soon tier. It's a. This is an important turn. Yeah, you've got to be so careful with these aces, especially right now, because he's a little bit behind. I think. Uh, yeah. It's uh. It's rough. I, like, quick draws will hurt. Uh, Suntir's still in a good position. Um, Suntir can still single-handedly pull out a game. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I mean, no turret spam on the other guy's list is pretty good. Good question. How many rounds are today? Today, this is the second and last round of the Swiss. Tron 99, I'm sorry, answering your question. And then we're cutting to top eight. Okay. Not a problem. Tron 999. Now, if John wins this game, we were saying um, he might make the cut depending on MOV, but with these kind of rebel salad types of lists, yeah. how much MOV do you think he's losing? Like, do you think oh, Lowrick is keeping most of his stuff safe? Or oh, do you think yeah. he's losing a couple ships every game? Oh, geez. So, I, uh, when I fought him against my list, the previous match to this, I threw two. Uh, harpoon with four damage and crit into Ezra, and that damage just got spread all the way out and dodged. And I, my Kima Gilla's main shot became harpoons, and I still just couldn't. I only killed Ezra. All right, so somebody asked how many total players in Swiss. On day one, we had about 50. On day two, we had about 70. So it was about 120-ish all together. Today, we had 40 people here playing out the rest of the Swiss. All right, so was that a straight from the shuttle? Yeah, it looked like it. Looks like he maybe just missed that rock. Cleared that stretch. Yeah. He's not going to have a shot, but... No, that's okay. I mean, you're, he's not going to have a shot for a little while, but uh, at least not... Help's going to be safe for a little while. Yeah, not too. taking a rock shot is pretty okay. Where are the result lists for the two days? Um, so I don't know if we actually officially War posted them anywhere. But in some of the Facebook pages, we've got them like Star Wars Gaming Ontario. We usually keep people updated. I know I saw some on Reddit. And uh, perhaps VTTV has posted them somewhere. I'm not positive. Sorry, guys. Let's see. All right. It's going to be an interesting round. Oh, going for the boost. If uh, he's not going to clear that. No, collision detector. Collision detector over it. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, you're right. Collision detector. 
Huh. I always forget what that does because nobody ever uses it. <laughs> Again. It takes the damage. Yes. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Just a shield. Oh, crit. What a one and eight, man. At the end of the day, this game's a lot of gambling with dice, so what happens, happens. Yeah, for sure. That's why Palp's so strong. I'm kind of surprised we didn't see just the stop maneuver from the U-Wing there. I guess it would have been predictable, so maybe trying to get the U-Wing to come around to get back into the fight. Yeah, take some more shots. Guess needed somewhere to put Captain Rex. Yeah. That might be a good bump. Might be going for the bump there. Uh, no, the top cut is not yet TL, uh, TG Loki. Where is Ezra going? He's going to graze that rock. Oh, Ask him yeah, to hold the rock. Close. Oh, that's smart to use a template. I usually use my finger and, and then it's your sticky. Finger yeah, sticks yeah, to yeah. It. Oh, it looks like just the corner. Oh, is man. There. But he clears both of his stress because of Inspiring Recruit. No damage. Okay. Quick Draw was trying to like really shoot out of there. Ezra could be just pulling a block there yeah, and not yeah. mind that he's on the rock. Low Rick. Yeah, a sloop for QD would be pretty good right now. Man, I don't know. I mean, with that back arc, though, how often are you actually Yeah, Soontir is still dangerous. Four straight with Soontir. And now he doesn't have to worry about that back arc on Ezra because he's on the rock. It's just a matter of does he want a shot. I don't know if he can boost in barrel roll to get arc on anyone. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, Soontir at the end of the day is a 34 point, 34 point, uh, you know, point bank. So if this goes real, real south... That's still 34 points of his list, like a third of his list that he'll have to destroy if he wants to keep keep going. Paul should have went all out and just brought Soonerfell with a huge bid. Yeah, Classic. that's true. <laughs> <laughs> There's those stories of the guy who went to what? Uh, I think the it was Australia. Australia. Yeah, the Australian National just soon tier fell. Like. Just fly around the edge of the board and just don't go in. Right? Jeez. The... Uh, is interesting. A lot, of, a lot of matters where quick draw goes. So what are we doing here? Are we still thinking about Sue Tears actions or are I we... I think so. Oh yes. Okay, here we go with a boost. Just got to get good position for whatever his next round move is at this point. Okay, just a normal boost. All right. Ezra can't shoot, so whatever, right? Okay. So, quick draw right now has arc on Rex. Anyone else? Oh, barrel rolling. Okay. Gets out of range one, possibly. Gets a shot on Heftober. Gets a shot on Rex. Um, but and Heftober Lorik. has three health left, so. Ooh, what's the range? It's true. He's got suppressed fire, though, so he's shooting one die out the back. Oh, that's all he's going for? Right, yeah. Is oh, and a crit? crit? Hey, can't ask for more than that. Oh, there it is. Lots of evades. Yeah, there's that 180-degree firing arc. It's very nice if you're the low rig yeah. player. <laughs> Feels bad, man, when you're not. Oh, jeez. Not a yeah, bad roll? Yeah, this is... Uh, this could be the end yeah, of quick draw. This is the end of quick draw. Oh yeah, quick draw's only got two dice, right? Yeah. We'll just see how many damage cards are dealt. Oh jeez. <laughs> two hits and a crit for a dead quick draw. The guy in the back of the TSF didn't let quick draw know what was happening and took a hard shit. <laughs> took a hard hit. Yeah, that hurts for Paul for sure. And now Paul has no shots this round with his other ships. So, Hef can fly away and yeah, maybe you save, know what? Uh, that save save the MOV. He, he gave up half, but... Uh, the MOV is going to be so important, like we said right at the beginning, because yeah. these guys are fight like, they're clawing their way into the top eight here. Palp's going to be in a weird position this next this next round if everyone turns in on him. Yeah, you're right. That's probably what's going to happen. You know what? When I, when I flew against this list, I just... 
really underestimated. I'm like, well, all the harpoons will be pretty, do some work for me, and nope. <laughs> you wish. I did, actually. I wished pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. You made it to, to today. Yeah, that's true. Some of us, uh, we had a lot worse luck <laughs> on our first days. Fair, fair. So we're at uh, Breakout, right? We are Break at Breakout Con, yeah. It's been going on this whole time we've been here. X-Wing takes up a lot of time, apparently. Yeah, yep. But yeah, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of games happening right now. I think Armada is still streaming on the other VTTV Twitch channel. And uh, yeah, there's, I think there's Room Wars happening, Destiny, Wars. Imperial Assault. That's awesome. There's, there's actually other channels other than VTTV we're streaming Netrunner, Top Cut, and Game of Thrones Top Cut as well. Oh, right. really? Jeez. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, yeah you can you, find uh, everything on the internet. Oh, uh, this bump? You will not be for lack of content. Okay. Uh, Lorik doesn't mind that. Got a good shot on the <laughs> shuttle there. The uh, uh, the Ewing isn't pivoting. He's just uh, swimming through space right now. Got the arms out. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like they just want to finish out that shuttle. Here comes soon tier. A little late to the game, but let's see what happens. Yeah, I think they've got to finish that shuttle before they go after Soontier, because that Palp backup is going to make it so hard. Yeah, Palp's going to take some damage this turn, I think. Do, 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 do. Soontier fell. Just doing Soontier things. Do, 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 do. He looks Here comfy comes Soontier fell. Spot. Token up. Oh yeah, he's got the targeting computer, so that's that's a little bit more of a hard hitting soon tier than we're used yeah. to. Yeah, let's see what happens. Oh, that's a good roll. Yeah, spends that lock. Oh, elusiveness. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and he can't re-roll that one with his target lock because it's already been re-rolled. Oh man. Oh my gosh. So that's three hits. Okay. So it looks uh, like Ezra's taking two. Ezra's taking two. Uh, maybe he wants to get rid of that uh, reinforce to save Ezra a hit. Oh, yeah, you're right. Just thinking about right now. Yeah, because, I mean, Lorik Low Low can take more hits than Ezra can. It's a hard choice. Because uh, he's got a range one shot from the shuttle, so uh, Palp could... Oh, he's doing it. Okay. Shuttle's got no mods, though. So. That's true. But he's got Palp, right? Yep. Palp says uh, eat a crit. That's true. Yeah, he hasn't used Palp yet. Okay, shooting into Palp. Two hits. Let's see what we so get. So this is uh, Ezra into the Come on, the this... Uh, the shuttle pilot's been on point this whole game. Yeah, that's Dodging true. Dodging shots, so let's see if he still has it. Uh, so that's two shields off the shuttle. This is low, Rick. Yep. Two hits. Not Only bad. Two. Two on well, four dice. If he gets one, if he hits both through, it's half points on the oh, shuttle. that's true. Here it goes. Uh, nope. That's going to be two more. Into the hull. Yeah, trying to get rid of Ezra. Does he have him? No, I think he's got Lorik. Yeah, gonna have to go for that. No, gonna have to yeah. go for that range one on Lorik. Yeah, palp a crit here. Yep, there it is. Yeah, without that reinforced token, you want to get in as much as you can. Two, Two shields. shields. Looks like that's the end of the round. 
So don't count Soontir fell out. This is looking pretty bad for the Imp player currently, but uh, Soontir can really do some work in the hands of a professional Soontir pilot. Yeah, it's a little bit harder because Ezra's got that rear arc and lower has got that one. Jeez, that rear, uh, yeah. He might as well be um, having a it's turret. Not, yeah, it's not like going right up against a turret, but it is a lot harder to off yeah. dodge when there's all those extra kind of arcs in there. Soontir just needs to get in there, roll like four crits, range one. Easy, right? Yeah, no problem. totally. Well, he's got he's got the targeting computer, so that's a good help. Pelp's still alive to help him out. Yeah. I don't know what I would do here. I'd probably try to bail out with Pelp real quick. Yeah. I think you're right. Just try to help Suntir get some damage in. Pelp's got too stress on him right now. He's not going to have good shots if he takes them. Hef has to get back in the fight. Do the U-Wings have a hard turn of some sort? Like a I think they have a hard two. Probably see something like that then. <laughs> I played them really like a lot when they first came out, and then uh, it felt felt bad, man, <laughs> getting one just toasted, so I stopped playing them. <laughs> All right. Pout bump. No? Clear to stress, though. Yeah, it is a hard two. Called yep, it. There it is. See, I'm so good at X Wing. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> what is this, a K turn on Rex? That makes sense. Yeah. Man. I gotta tell you, with all this Armada playing around, it makes me want to get my stuff out again. You play Armada as well? I, uh, I dabble, dabble in Armada. <laughs> right. I mean, Thrawn's ship came out, and that's, that's pretty good. So is that oh. in Lorex arc? I think that is uh, out. Jeez, I can't. Yeah, it looks like it's out. So that's another if range I'm, one shot If I'm Lorex the there, I'm, I'm reinforcing the back, because I think that is out. Yeah, that's, uh, that's another golf, a golf look for me. Well, we can see he's not on his side of the table. He is checking this arc, because that's so important. Let's see what happens. What's this? Yeah, oh, here it is. 50-50, it looks like. Oh, taking a risk. Going for the rear. <coughs> So uh, even if he doesn't get out of the arc, like he might stop a Suntir fell shot on him. Oh, jeez. Ezra got a bump. Uh, I don't know if it did. You don't think so? No. Oh, cleared both his stress with the inspiring recruit. Takes a focus. That's surprising that that's not a bump. Wow. Yeah. Inspiring recruit. Yep, on screen. A uh, great card for a point. Yeah. Oh man, here comes Suntir fell. Right behind us, Ra. Going for the barrel roll. Good choice. Oh my god, I don't know how you play a whole tournament with Sunterfell. That is so stressful. There's so much to think about. That's three health, man. No shields protecting They're you. They're like from flying anything. cotton balls. Like, did he not come up against any bombs in the last Yeah, two days? jeez. <laughs> There's a guy who was flying a 2BSF list that was pretty... A 2BSF and I think like Fen Rao in the shuttle? That was a... Uh... Yeah, we saw we saw a 2BSF yesterday on the stream. Yikes. This is Suntir's shot on... So does he want to spin the focus? Yes. Yep, three hits. Uh, does Ezra... He spends it. Does Ezra spend the reinforce? Oh, yeah, that's what he's thinking about, right? Yeah. He does, so he'll only be taking one damage. Okay. Yeah, he... he I keep forgetting more. about that reinforce until yeah, you say yeah. it. Yeah, he matters more. Like, Ezra is a stronger piece in this than uh, Lorik is. Lorik can take a lot more hits, too. 
getting an arc really in the shuttle. Okay. So Ezra on the shuttle looks like. Is that three hits? Sometimes it's a little hard to tell. Oh, yeah. Focus, switch to an evade. Uh, oh, that, oh, oh my gosh. Crits. Yeah, it was two crits. Down, down to Palpatine Town. So I didn't see what those crits were. <laughs> but we're waiting on a judge call right now for the Palp Shuttle's arc. Oh, like yep, they yep. Said. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, no, this is for Lowrix arc on the Palp Shuttle. Oh, wow, that is yep. a lot closer than I thought it was. And it's just slightly angled, right? Yeah. So, I mean, he really wants this shot oh, if yeah. he can get it. Yeah, because if he gets this shot, he could finish the shuttle. It doesn't look like it, though. That's Don in there from the previous round with yeah. me. Big Boss Don. <laughs> All right. So it looks like that was out. Okay. Well, Rex says, uh, don't forget about me. Oh, yeah. I did forget about him. So. Oh, just one. Oh, jeez. Blank. So shuttle's sitting at one hall remaining. Oh, but the U-Wings oh, got... Oh, no. U-Wing from downtown. Yep. U-Wing's in there. That looks range to me. But it does look obstructed. I mean, do you use Palp here? Uh, I guess it depends no, I guess what it uh, won. This could be the shuttle. And... Jenga, he got it. That shuttle pilot on the clutch. Shuttle still clutch alive. Clutch dodge. The shuttle has one health left. Do you know what that crit is on it? Did you hear while you were there? We had one pilot and then... He's got uh, three damage and a hit right now. So yeah. So blinded would be gone. But yep, I don't know what that other one is. <laughs> Looks like a maybe weapons failure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Weapons Woo. Failure. Guessed it, baby. <laughs> you, yeah, you were Yeah, no, it's there. okay. <laughs> weapons failure is another one of those. So those are the kind of crits that I really, I really hate getting because they're that take an action to roll a die to see if you get rid of it. Yeah, and it, which it, never rolls. And it feels bad, man, when you take three turns trying to get rid of it and it still stays well, around. And also he didn't have a chance to even yeah. deal with that yet. And he had blinded. But. Yeah. But you can palp that. So uh, Palpatine oh, yeah, says you're, you're, not, right. you're not blinded anymore. Palp is or so not, handy. Or not blinded, but, not, blinded, but uh, not weapons failured. I mean, are you flipping that at this point with one hull left? Yeah, geez, he's... He's, he needs to. So soon, Tier needs to just kill Rex, kill Ezra, uh, <laughs> kill Rex, kill Ezra, kill the Ewing. I mean, a lot of these, besides Low Rick, a lot of these are sitting at uh, soon Tier killable hit points, right? Like, oh yeah, no, that's true. Two, three, and two. We might just see soon Tier clean up here. Hey, that'd be. Uh, I don't think anybody would be too upset with that. That would be some fancy flying, I think, though. Shuttle, a lot of stress on there still. Oh. Here comes the U wing. He is in the shuttle's arc, so. Yep, it looks like he hit that uh, debris. Nope. No damage. No damage. Yep, Rex doing the safe chasing, maneuver. Chasing him down. Let's see what we got here. Oh, so it looks Lorik like Lorik wants to work on soon tier now. Yeah. Lorik's still pretty healthy. Yeah, Lorik's in good 
I mean, most of these ships seem to be good shape compared to the other side. That first, like, two rounds of it, so a lot of X-Wing can be, after the first couple rounds of engagement, can be determined, like, what happens. Uh, but you get upsets. That's why the game's so fun. Yeah. If you watch the stream back from uh, yesterday, we had really, really swingy games. Really? They swung back and forth, and they all went to time. It was it was stressful for yeah. everyone involved. That's so why even though if you get hammered in the beginning, never count yourself out. No, Keep you playing always, like you want to win. Yes. And you never know. Don't start making bad moves out of desperation. So it looks like that was the inspiring recruit doing a whole bunch of work again. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I really no. like this rebel list. That's, that's not a place Shuntir wants to be right now. No. Well, I guess uh, Lorix is firing on him. So that's not bad. Yeah. Well, the U-Wing also has him in arc. Well, that's, oh, that's true. He could push Focus Evade, maybe be okay. So it would be Focus, Focus Evade, Token Stack. But maybe, yeah, uh, just not getting in shot. If he can escape at least one of those arcs, yeah. the less shots, the better. Okay, push for the evade, get the focus. Yep. Safe bet. Classic soon tier move. Yeah, you're you're a crack Texas war gamer. That tactician would be real real end for him. One evade. This is Rex onto the shuttle, and that that's, kills him. That's it. Oops, that was Ezra on the shuttle. Ezra yeah. on the shuttle. So. Uh, this is it. This may look grim, but <laughs> soon tears, uh, you didn't make it to the top of the academy for nothing. So then this is Lorik's shot. Oh, jeez. Has to okay. spend the focus. Yeah. Well, he's got range three through a rock with auto thrusters, so he should be okay. <laughs> should be. Is should the should be. There? Yeah, he didn't roll very much. What was that, like one? Oh, he needs an extra die here. Yeah. <laughs> Ever not have enough green dice? Yep. Uh, he's good to go. I mean, it's going to be hard for these rebels to catch Soontir, but Soontir has to put on pressure if he oh, wants yeah, to it's, win. It's, it's so looking real grim. It's looking a little grim for him. I might, uh, I might too hard in to get the green. Right, they have two hard greens. Right, yeah. And then uh, try to take out, try to just want take out that U wing, and then maybe. He could definitely take out that U wing. I mean, at this point, you just got to go for big moves because you're you're already way down in points. Yeah, I mean, big moves with Suter is stressful for <laughs> sure for him. All guts, no shields, man. But I mean, yeah, we'll probably see a hard turn from Rex in towards where the U-Wing is. See Ezra, probably hard turn as well, get his arcs facing that way. Yeah, he's just, they're gonna chase Soontir, it's yeah. bad. <laughs> it's real bad. I mean, Soontir's a lot faster than them, but he's gotta do a two maneuver to clear that stress. Because he cannot sit there stressed. That, everybody knows that. Soon Tier just needs to make some radical moves here. I'm not someone who's ever played Soon Tier, but I feel like it's gonna be hard. I mean, if he, we got 16 minutes left. Uh, I mean, though, this is huge for Paul to have made yeah. a cut in a, you know, an event this big with Soon Tier Fell, who we have not seen in years. Yeah. Like competitively, at least. Yeah, yeah. yeah. U wing chasing after Suntier, not on that rock, so he's good to go. Okay, well, Rex is out. That's good. He's coming around though. Not that I'm straight rooting for the Suntier, but I'm rooting for the Suntier right I now. I feel like he's the underdog <laughs> yeah. and needs us to cheer for him. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Coordinate. Target lock, probably. Yep. Good call. Coordinate's very powerful. Oh, yeah, we got a we, bump. I don't know if we've seen him coordinate yet this game, but yeah, super, super helpful. Is he clear of that? I don't think so. <laughs> now with 14 minutes left, uh, Emperor's Canaries, you just got to hope uh, maybe some big explosions start happening. <laughs> yep, there's the hard two. Uh, he, I mean, if... This is regular running soon here, you know, the boost barrel roll, but he's got to do some damage if he wants to win. 15 minutes left. Because uh, he's got a lot of arcs on him right now, and luck of the dice runs out yeah. real fast in cases like that. That was like the, uh, uh, the, everyone's got that EPT yesterday, right? That was uh, luck of the dice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I might, ah, oh, this is rough. I might boost in, ah, uh, yeah. Get a range one. Oh, he's on boosting oh, out. He's running. Maybe he's just going to try to save his MOV at this point. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's this. Although, if he loses, yeah. he's not making the cut anyway. Yeah, no, maybe there's this, like, uh, you know, denial of MOV for the other guy. So, hey, you beat me, but you didn't get everything. Yeah, I mean... There's still top 32 prizes. Oh, are there? Top oh. 16 prizes. Like, top 16, maybe not, but top 32, so... All right. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> okay. Rex might have a shot, though. Can Rex get that one through? Oh, no. he's gone. Uh, auto thrusters yeah, yeah, triggered yeah. anyway. Well, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, looks like we're back to planning. Let's press Since, the fire. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Real powerful condition card for 14 points. I was going to say, soon Tier might try and come up behind where that U wing is now, but. Suppressed fire is going to really hurt him for damage output anyway. <laughs> Still a lot of dials to set over on the, the rebel side. Yeah, it's yeah, a this long is, uh, day when you've got four dials and they're lasting. Juice, uh, That's what you get when you bring rebel salad, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how's uh, the PTL league going? Personally, I haven't been playing a lot lately. Uh, it's probably why I didn't do so well at uh, when I played on Friday. Yeah. But I think we're still growing. The Toronto Excellent. area has huge amount of players. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just nuts here. We uh, Radical Squadron is trying to get something going in Syracuse. We have a podcast going now. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's super casual. Like you know, it's no. Uh, my knock or anything like that, but it's uh, we really like it. We have a lot of fun. Uh, we like pointing out ships that no one plays because the nice thing about X Wing is a ship that one day a ship could be considered like no one wants it, and then an upgrade comes out and everybody wants it. Well, this is what PTL is all about. We try to play as much jank as we can. <laughs> That's excellent. Hey, can't say you didn't try. Rex just chasing down soon, Terry. Wants to finish him. Yeah, this is... He wants that MLV. He needs yeah. it. I was going backpacking for two weeks anyway. So when I found out the dates, I just did my time. So the U-Wing still has that target lock from the last round. So bumping was totally fine in his book. Oh, okay. I went through it, and then like half hour behind me, he was like, So luckily I wasn't even in Lenny. No surprises from the Rebels over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On my way to Liverpool. No, just... Soon tears, man on the run, if you will. Four straight, just gonna keep driving into Ezra, apparently. So I think Soon Tier only got like two or three shots this game. Yeah, he hasn't had very many at all. One of the problems with being such a squishy oh, non turret. No. Yeah. 
So, a hard two, not surprising. Okay, yeah, we're still in uh, still in Rex's arc, still in maybe the Ewing's arc. So he's still in everybody's arc right now. I think he's got to... Might have some range between him and Lowe. He's right? got to get out of Ezra's. He's got to get out of... Make sure he's not range two of Lorik. Definitely not range two of Lorik right now. I think we're just going to see him boost out of there. Coming around. I think I think Rex still has him, though. Through a rock, though. Rex will. Maybe barrel get range three. Push for it, yeah. That might even be beyond range three at this point. Have to see the ruler. It's hard to tell. Yeah, I think at this point he knows he's not going to win. Just trying to save his MOV for some yeah. sweet swag. It hit. Hits. Pretty good. Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. I always focus on the blanks first. And then, like, the, the feel bad starts you to rise. I see the couple, yeah. There's two in there plus <laughs> auto thrusters. Yeah. <laughs> Can these rebels ever catch Soontir if he's, you know, just going to run away? Because that seems to be the plan. I don't think any of them are fast enough. It's, no, I mean, maybe a lucky shot goes through. He really needs to get. He needs Ezra and he needs that tactician to hit there. Once that happens, it's bad. It's game. But now, Suntir can run on the board for eight minutes. Suntir's got enough distance now that he can just run for this yeah. last eight minutes. So I think that's what we're going to see. No shame in that, trying to keep MOV. It's a big tournament. There's some cool prizes. We've actually got last year's tournament, yeah. 2017, yeah. because 2018 has not yet been announced, but we will also be getting that when it's available. No, it hasn't, uh, but uh, Fantasy Flight was uh, kind enough to at least, instead of saying nobody gets anything, uh, they'll mail all the prizes out to people. Which is crazy. Yeah, which is nuts, but hey, they're they're trying, right? Like it's, it's a... Uh, got to always be as positive as you can. Yeah, no, you know what? We get two kits, man. Yeah, that's pretty rad. I'm not mad about that, although, I mean... Radical Squadron approves. <laughs> <laughs> we got the uh, Bosk on the phone, or the Bosquant crits. <laughs> okay, here yeah. we go. Hard two for the chase. Soon Tier will get enough range out of there, though. All right, yeah, this is. Hard one. The thing is, these guys can't be using repositioning abilities because they need to modify their shots if they ever want to actually hit. No, foul. this is yeah. This so is we're not going to see like barrel rolls from no, Rex no. to try and get some range closing. This in is there. going to be like wacky races for the next seven minutes. Yeah. Like, might as well play some Benny Hill music while we're driving <laughs> that's around. That's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Low work coming around. I gotta say, I wasn't expecting as much. Uh, uh, as much uh, massage here as that, that showed up. But she's a good medical right now. Yeah, Being able absolutely. to turn off uh, expertise. Yeah, I think massage is a great choice. We had Tim on the stream yesterday running an massage uh, ketsu list, which is, I think he's doing pretty well with it. So. Yeah. Uh, chicken soon here, running away. <laughs> I got to uh, admit, lag, lag Jansen, that is really good. Like, soon here's like this top tier pilot, and a uh, Hef Tobler who sounds like some medieval like nobody. Yeah. Hef Tobler, my lord, yeah. chasing you down in the, the hewing. No range. I don't think anyone's surprised about that. No. I know a lot of top players showed up for this too. We have some really big names here. Yeah, we got Grassner, we got the Howards. 
Yeah, and I mean, some of these Toronto people are starting to get more well known too. Like uh, Eric Zhang, he was okay, yep, he was yep. just won a regionals uh, in I think Michigan. Last yeah, weekend. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, Stormbringer, yeah, I like the. Oh, he won. He won Atlantic Canada regionals as well. Yeah, we got some pretty good players up here. We got a couple of former Canadian champions. That's awesome. That's great. Yeah. When I see Heftober, I kind of think of the uh, the peasant from Warcraft Three. Just okay. I'm not familiar with that. That's fair. <laughs> Let's see. We got five minutes left. We know that we're just waiting on the clock in this game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can't call it till the clock is done, but <laughs> I think we're pretty certain what's going to happen. Time keeps on Unless ticking. Unless somebody ticking, accidentally, ticking. I mean, soon tier accidentally sets the wrong thing on his dial. But yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> it could happen. Unless, uh, that's true. Zero Moose five 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 five. No, we don't have Nathan Ide or Paul Heaver here. I don't think they've ever come up here. Not to Toronto anyway. They might have been to other Canadian stuff. Let's see, We've got three minutes and just about thirty seconds left. Let's see what happens. Probably going to be the final the round? round. I think so. Yeah, I mean, if I'm that rebel player, I'm probably moving my ships as slow as possible so I don't have to go through another planning phase. <laughs> no, we don't slow play. <laughs> no, don't. I guess he wants to catch soon here, but I bet you he knows just as well as we do he's never going to catch him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, uh, at this point, he, like, soon here's probably not going to turn for a shot. Uh, again, that's 34 points that he doesn't have to give up. Yep. Swag is... You know, hey. it's good. Yeah, gee, especially official swag. If you spend, you know, two days out playing X-Wing, you want to have something to show for it. <laughs> if you are interested in Armada, they are streaming that on the other channel. They still streaming all the other games. They're still streaming all the other games. Every finals for Armada is starting momentarily. Oh, finals cool. for Armada. That's worth checking out if you're not interested in watching the clock run on this. Unfortunately, the, uh, one of the players just knocked out the uh, world champion. Oh, no. wow. Norm's out. Oh, cow. That's a huge upset. I, I, think, uh, I forget what the game. Gibbs won some stuff as well, but I can't remember. The other player he's playing against is one of the big turns. Right. Okay, We've got wow. a lot of really top Armada players here in Toronto. <laughs> now we're not even talking about X-Wing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of uh, not X-Wing, you get into Legion? I uh, I don't play anything else. Oh, okay. X -Wing, and I barely play X-Wing Respectable. Either. Are you into Respectable. everything? You got some Destiny, uh, some Legion. Yeah, I got a problem. <laughs> you got a problem. I know what I am. You're <laughs> a nerd. Hey, maybe Ezra will get a shot at some point soon. Turn Lorik and Ezra, next move. Maybe, maybe. One yeah. minute here, one minute. Set those dials I mean, uh, quick before they call time. Yeah, get one more round, maybe. Put one dial down. Just put down that U-wing. The uh, the final conclusion to this match is kind of already here. I agree, uh, Rocha. Shade Spire is pretty fun, but uh, people show up for X-wing, unfortunately. <laughs> We've got a huge Canadian Nationals for Room Wars going on. we got four really? players here. Four players? Everyone made Hey, you're top four. four, baby. Whatever. <laughs> the prize kit for that game is crazy. It looks really nice. Really? That's good. That's, oh, man. Yeah. That's where Samit is. He was going to help me do this today, but he decided he wanted to play Room Wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Ezra and Lorik might have a shot this turn. Uh, you know, at this point, uh, a lot of arcs drops soon to here. Just go for it, I think. You got, you got 38 seconds left, whatever. Yeah, he set those dials, so they got to play out this round. Uh, but I believe that was time, just called. All right, what did Soontar do, I wonder? I guess he could just 
Does he have a five straight, something really fast? Yeah, just peel out at this point. Because he doesn't have a stress on him. No, yeah, this is a... Uh... Peel out of there. Uh, may not even get to it. Oh, they haven't finished dials yet. Thinking about it. it this is really important for yeah. uh, Gene right now, because he wants that MOV. If he can catch soon tier, I mean, if he can land three shots onto soon tier... I don't yeah. think it's going to happen, but he's got a, you know, dice fail. That's fair. That's fair. Dice have, uh, again, it's a game of gambling. No matter what, how many mods you have, you can either roll blanks into blanks or have all the mods and just natty roll four hits. Like, never know. Happens. Can't count it out till it's done. Everyone's chasing around. Right. What did Ezra? Oh, yep. Just still got uh, the back arc. Going for that back arc. Uh, I think Sunter is going to have more than enough range from that Ezra. I thought we would have seen a hard turn in from Ezra. Mm, yeah, I don't think there's going to be any nah. shots this round. Sunter can escape all of those. Unless we're really surprised. Unless he did something uh, really crazy. Oh, uh, maybe. Here we go. Uh oh. That's interesting. I thought we were just going to see a straight and boost barrel roll. Yeah. You going to see a barrel oh. roll? Oh, he's going in. He oh, wants, geez, here we he's go. He's going to try and finish Ezra, get some points. Lorik's out of place. Uh, Ezra will take a stress from looselessness to get his, his rerolls, but we got a... We still if got ourselves a shot. It's been a long time since we've had any yeah, shots. Yeah, that's true. All right, so he's trying to get some points here on Ezra here. Here we go, here we go. This is it. Big shot. I'm surprised that this is what we're seeing, but range two looks like. Yeah. Oh. oh. Elusiveness for the reroll. Yeah. Oh, okay. Takes the stress. Target lock. Come on. So now his ability is going to kick in. Oh, hey, three oh. hits. This could be it. Uh, Two evades. <laughs> that was a nice roll. I'm so, so, I feel bad. I'm like, Ezra's oh. Ezra's sitting there at one haul. Yeah, that's it. Good game, guys. Not going to try and shoot and see if you can kill Sinter? Yes, oh, we that's are. Right. Here we go. Yikes. Jeez. Three hits. All right. And that's what you want to see on that side. I don't think he can die here. He's tokened up. Oh, yeah, he's good. Auto thrusters. And evade. Trying to pick which token to spend. Yeah, oh, Spending the focus. because Tobler's got a shot. Oh, you're right. Yeah, he went in with where there's all those arcs. It's a bunch of two crits and a hit. That could hurt. No. Yep, that's it. All right. Hey, good game, guys. So we see the win on the Rebel side. Thanks for...